I'm Marisol and this is the second part about different interesting ideas you can use to uh, study your English and be better. It's not difficult if we are talking about pronunciation. Indeed, there are different ways you can use online. There are several dictionaries uh, from Oxford, Cambridge. I'm going to show you a variety of sites that you can get and then you will see that you have the pronunciation, you have examples, sentences where they are modeling how to use each word. Uh, my advice is that you should get into detail into these sites and don't use Google Translator. I don't think it's the best tool. Honestly, I prefer to, to use these sites and I want to share with you. This is one I love, that is the Contemporary English uh, Lama. Yes, so there is the site, you can see. It's very easy to use. You just uh, put the word and then appears the word here. So let's pick any word you want. So let's put this one. Population. So then you see, you have the definitions. Yes. So, and you can also listen to the pronunciation. Population. Population. Yes, different accents. Yes, American, British. So this is an excellent way to practice with this one. This is one of my favorite ones. This is Cambridge Dictionary Online. Yes, it has the same way of working like the other one. Yes. So just uh, type here. Let's put this word here. And then you search it. The most incredible thing of this is that you can check uh, the different types of pronunciation, American, British. So let's click here to check. Reliable. Reliable. It's fantastic. Remember, Cambridge Dictionary. Yes, this is a site. It's a website, so it's pretty engaging. This is another one, Macmillan Dictionary. Yes, it happens absolutely the same thing as I mentioned before. So let's put something like, uh, okay, this word. And then we can check the pronunciation. Yes. Here. Here. And then we have the definition. See? So this is fantastic. Just remember then this side, it's Macmillan Dictionary. Yes, as I said, there are different dictionaries online that you can use. Well, another way you can use to practice is by using readers, graded readers that you can get at any bookstore. There are many in Lima. Uh, and if you are in another country, you can get them uh, through Amazon. But I'm sure in your country you can also find greater readers yourself. And then um, I have one that is my favorite bookstore. And then it, it comes by level. So then you check your level if you are beginner level or intermediate level or advanced. Yes, the thing of this type of material that you can get, uh, it comes with a beautiful uh, type of uh, stories and it comes with a CD that you can listen if you don't have a drive on your computer you can burn it and then have the mp3 files on your telephone so then it's wonderful it's an excellent way to practice and then there are other readers that have exercises on them so then you can practice your English so you start reading the story you can check the exercises and vocabulary activities grammar activities that the book has. So it's an excellent way you can improve your English. Another site that you can use to study, I mean, just you just Google ESL games, grammar, um, grammar games online, yes. And then you can find different sites of games. I think it's a very interactive way. There you have ESL games word and it comes with a list of topics, of grammar topics. So you check here, present tense games, for example, tenses games, 
you check let's say um, present tense is working this is quite nice for students to use at home or even for teachers in their classes I'm totally sure teachers know this something super important is you have you must have a other player or flash player available because this type of sites sites they need uh, this program so then then you can open videos uh, uh, check images it's quite funny you see you just roll the dice yes and then it will appear <laughs> it's quite funny i really love this yes you can uh, i can enlarge this see and then let me move it this here is the question she is then I look at the photo there is a photograph there she is eating okay breakfast yes yeah, so I can click on breakfast and then I submit see this is very nice and then well there are several types of topics as I mentioned before that you can use so remember, just uh, and browse on the browser, the Google thing. You just put ESL games, grammar games online, or simply ESL games, and then you have plenty of sites to choose. Another one is ESL games, games plus dot com. I love this too. So there are several exercises for different topics. Yes, comparatives, health, comparatives, natural world. Some people may say, ah, this is for kids. Not only for kids, I think it's pretty interesting if we give adults the, the chance to play so then it's not boring. It's fun, I think. Think about it. Think about this option. Uh, and finally, oh well, there are a couple things I would tell you about word reference forum. That's a site that I would recommend. And then you have here many people that have problems like you do. And they ask questions and they start talking with other people. You know, they, they give examples, so it's marvelous. So it's an excellent way then that you can uh, share your queries with other people. And then you can ask, yes, you can register is, uh, as I said, forum, um, uh, dot wordreference.com yes wordreference.com is an excellent site that I would recommend another thing you can use is uh, you can get grammar books many students of mine ask me teacher how can I practice my grammar apart from the, the other idea I gave you uh, that is using grammar games online you can get a very good grammar book which can be uh, this one that I really love is English grammar in use by Ray from Raymond Murphy. So this is an author I really recommend. It has different levels for beginners, uh, intermediate level and advanced. So I'm going to share with you English grammar in use. It's really fantastic because it has very clear examples, the theory is clear. It's really great. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you have enjoy the different tips I was telling you and remember getting the right pronunciation is not hard checking interested sites it's also very useful to practice your pronunciation grammar anything you want you will get it remember practice